Hello and welcome to the lecture on cookies. So let's understand what is cookies. Then we'll write some program to create the cookies. So cookies are nothing but the information that is stored at the client browser. So we have two things. We have client and the server. And the web page that you see here, right? The web page that you see here is basically the client browser. And you can store this data in the client browser itself. You can store it and you can access it for the next page. Let's say you are in this this site on let's say you are on PHP bootcamp site and then you want to store some data on the client browser. That's when we will use cookies. So cookies are basically information you store whenever you want them to access it back, right? It's stored in a file at a client system in a format which is name is equal to value. Okay, you give a name to a cookie and then you give a value to that cookie and this will be stored in a file in the client system only. Okay, so this this basically is saving some data so that you can refer it back again when the new page happens. So you when you're hopping from one page to another page and you want to store some data, you can store the data in the client PC itself. And that is via the cookies. Cookies, the main purpose is to track what user is doing on the web page and send that information to the server. So the server know what client did on that page. So if you want to capture whatever he's doing, you store it in a cookie and then send that cookie back to the server. So when server read the cookie, it understand, oh, the, server, the client has taken this action on the web page. So for every request, whenever there's a request like submit, you know, form, form data has been posted, get or post, these cookies is been sent from, you know, so client to server and then server to client. There are two benefits of using cookies. First is to store information. You want to store information at the client side. And also you want to capture the user action on the web page that can be happen via the cookies. So and when till when you can hold this cookie till the browser is been closed. So when you close this, when you click on close button, or you can also set a manual expiration time for any cookie. You can by default when you close this cookies will be deleted or you can set it to non expiry so that cookies will always stay there for you to understand. So that's why whenever you open a browser, the Facebook actually know us, right? When you open a facebook.com it actually know you are logged in and it sometimes doesn't know what is your password, but it will try to understand you are this person when you open Facebook. So that's what is happening from a cookie. Facebook has stored all this information in your PC via the cookies and some of the browser disable cookies. So in these cases, when cookies are disabled, you know, it will do a prompt to say, please enable cookies so that, you know, I can store my data onto your PC. And also cookies can help to change the view of the page based on the user actions. Let's say you're accessing from Singapore, then you want to store a cookie and show some different parts of the page on specific to Singapore. If you are from China or if you are from, you know, different part of the world and you have a specific language and you want to show different languages onto your web page, then basically you store that information into the cookie. And then when the web page loads, you can just read it from the cookie and display it on the web page. All right, how to set a cookie is very simple. You just set a cookie with something called as name and value. And then you have your expiry time and then you have your path. You can define to have the default path or you can specify your own path. So how to access the cookie like we have underscore get and underscore post. We have underscore cookie and then you pass the cookie name inside it. Okay, how to delete you change the expiry time, right? You delete the cookie by changing the expiry time to last year and then the cookie will be deleted okay so we'll work through an example to understand how to work through a cookie cookies are a simple information stored at the client browser okay to set you have set cookie to get this is basically the variable global variable you can use to get the cookie and to delete you basically set the cookies expiration time to previous date then the cookie get deleted okay so now that we understand cookies, so let's do an example on cookies to now that you have understood cookies, let's do an example to do a exercise on it. So I'm going to create a file called cookie.php. Okay, I'm going to copy paste this. And call it cookie okay and I'm gonna delete this 
okay so we have a simple HTML page so let's try it simple uh, actions like how to set a cookie you know how to delete a cookie how to access a cookie and you know how to play around with cookies okay the first thing is we will give cookie a name okay okay the cookie name could be like say user and what is the value of that cookie okay the value could be php bootcamp right now how to set a cookie to set a cookie you have a method called set cookie okay just like that you can just write set cookie and the first thing that you pass is the cookie name the second thing is the cookie value okay the third thing is the time so you can say time plus eight six four I'm just setting some random time to it okay and then the third thing is where you want to store so when I say slash it stores in the default location wherever the browser is set to okay and now I can write an if condition check whether the cookie is set or not okay so for that we have a method called e set right and we can access that cookie to see whether the cookie is set or not so how to access a cookie we have a global variable cookie and it has an associative array so it will store that value with the name okay instead of this we can even say cookie name right then we don't have to worry about the value so whatever is the cookie name we're checking whether the cookie value is set or not okay and after that we can do two operations based on whether the cookie is set or not okay so the first thing we can say you okay, can say welcome message when the cookie is not set means he's coming for the first time and we can say cookie value you say nice to meet you there is the first time when cookie is not been set and let's say the cookie is been set right then we can greet him differently okay we can say now you can recognize him right so you can say you are back you can do a br here and then now you can again say the value is so now you can access the associative array with the variable name right you can access this via the global variable just like that right there's nothing fancy here right it's very very simple to understand you give a name pair value right so what you're trying to do is name is equal to value so that's how you store a cookie okay and you store a cookie with this name okay and when you access this name you get this value okay how to set a cookie there's a method called set cookie it has four parameters first parameter is the name of the cookie value of the cookie time and also this is the expiration time and also the location right and then first you can check whether cookie is set how to access cookies you have a global variable underscore cookie using which it's an array so you can pass the array associative array index and once you find out which value it is then you can see whether it's set or not if it is not set you can greet him differently if it is already a user which visiting the same page again then you can greet them differently okay so let's run this page So the first this is the first time right welcome php bootcamp nice to meet you this is the first time the cookie has been created right it's not been set so now it is set so when i refresh then it knows that okay the cookie has been created it will show you the cookie value okay so when i refresh it say okay i recognize you and the value is this and the next time onwards when you keep refreshing it knows it is you 
right so let's copy this close this browser open this up again and it's able to recognize you okay so you are able to recognize the cookie because the cookie has been set and you have set some expiration time and once that is expired then the cookie will get expire as well okay and how to delete a cookie you can delete a cookie via this way you can set the time to minus one year and then you can set the expiration time via the set cookie so that's about cookies it's very simple to understand it's as simple as a variable right it's just that the cookies are stored on the client browser and you can access cookie via the global variable and you can set them you can uh, you know you can create them you can even delete them and you can play around with the data that you want to store on the client browser okay so that's all about the cookie and i'll see you in the next one